Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're going to look back at Pygame. So, now this is very important. If, as you can see here, there is a ton of stuff. So, if you're new, I will put a, a link right here for all the Pygame stuff. So that is a playlist of everything. And then also I will put the last video up right here. So if you've caught up or you just missed the last one, we can go from here. So all right, last video we learned how to find a position. We learned about, um, actually I'm sorry, uh, how to take a mouse down operation and the video before that a certain position. So now what we're going to do, because we learned how to track the mouse down, now what we're going to do is f we're going to merge the two and how if it's inside our circle. So let's run this. Let's get our cursor over here. So if you're new here, thanks for joining us. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. So all right what we've done is we built a circle and we put start in the middle of it so I like to stretch us I like to challenge us so regularly people do rectangles and that's pretty simple you have a point so if it's minus here or plus here if it's in between this X and this Y and this X change well we got a circle and I kind of did that on purpose so we're gonna have to put our thinking caps on and apply some logic to it real logic because that's what real life is so let's close this and let's just dig into it so here we go if we're gonna click inside that circle we want to also change the color of the background so we're gonna to have to have a list of backgrounds so right here I'm gonna put up a list of colors so let's just drop these in right here so I'm gonna paste these in and you can pause right here and look at it but that last video that I just popped in there was where these come from if you are not are not sure and also we're gonna do random so we're going to apply random shuffle and I'm going to put that one up right here. So we don't know which one it is going to pick from here and it's going to change the background. So we're getting pretty fancy pretty quick. So one of the things we need to do is we need to move this right here to here right after the event because we don't want to do it all the time we only want to do it at a specific time when we click does that make sense now we want to change this just a little bit so the cursor X and the cursor Y if you're not sure exactly what this is doing go back and look at that video because it, re it produces a tuple so we're doing this right here so now now we're gonna have to do now we're gonna have to do nope we're not gonna do the math yet all right so we hear our colors so color colors and we're gonna put in a list of white black red blue and green helps if I do that right okay so okay now this this is what's gonna go away so we don't want to do this and we don't want to print that out but now we're gonna have to do our logic so I want you to think about this Let's do pass. Let's get our circle back up. 
All right, let's bring our circle back up. Now we're gonna have to do, let's make sure you can see this. We're gonna have to do some geometry here. So I want you to think about this. And then this video is gonna run long and it's just gonna be that way. So all right, here's our center, X and Y. It's half of it, so it's 300 and 400 right there on the A. So, and our radius is 50. Again, we're gonna have to do some math here. So I want you to think about this. That point is easy, that point is easy, that point and that point, because the radiuses are flat, okay? So think about how we do a hypotenuse of a triangle. So the radius will always be 50, right? Around here. So that's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So as long as our x and our y from our coordinates are less than 50 squared, we're inside. So I'm going to say that again real slow, or you can rewind it. Our radius is 50. So every time around, our hypotenuse is always the radius. So to find out that location, that's our a squared plus b squared equals our c squared. Okay? So as long as it is less than 2,500, we are inside our circle. All right, so let's just do it. Oops, I went back too far. And this is exactly where this logic is going to go. So if 300, and you could get fancy and do x divided by 2, but this is pretty complicated enough. So minus x underscore, excuse me, cursor x, then squared plus 400 minus cursor y. And just to cover your concern, you might be thinking, well, what about if it's up or down? If it's squared, it covers the negative, right? For squaring something, covers the negative. Okay, there we go. And let's wrap that. There we go. Is less than 2,500. Now, forgot one thing. This is super important. Fill random choice then colors so all right throwing up random choice right here if you don't know then we need to change one more thing uh let's do fill equals white and i'll explain this in a second then fill so all right originally through i wanted this white right so i I assign it white, then if it clicks, then change. So that's why I did that. Okay, all right, we're ready. Let's check and make sure everybody can see. We are way long on this, so I apologize, guys. So, okay, outside the circle, nothing happening, right? Boom, outside the circle, inside the circle, outside the circle, inside the circle, outside, inside, boom. That is it. We've now started to do some really cool stuff. So, all right, really long video. I don't like them being this long, but as always, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Please leave any comments, questions, or any video requests below, and I'll get right to them. See you next time, guys.